How you doing? This is Trent Anderson and you're on the infamous, infamous Living Rim Network. Thank you so much for tuning in and being with me right now in this very moment. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right each and every day. We're cultivating our inner selves, trying to make ourselves better, man. That's what life is all about. We don't we don't look at the outside world anymore and determine what we're gonna be because what is going on out here. No, we walk by faith, we walk by belief, we walk by high power mentalities that allow us to gain control of our reality and take responsibility for our own actions. So with that being said, we rolling, man. Boy, what you talking about? Deep topics that's the hashtag guys on the living room network deep topics hashtag deep topics so remember when you tweeting and stuff like that you're on the living room network pages and you're sharing stuff videos whatever it is put in deep topics hashtag lrm hashtag the living room we're all one we're all cultivating that's what it's all about everybody coming together doing their own thing and having flavor so what is flavor about flavor man it's like flavor flay flavor flay was a celebrity he still is a celebrity um and he wore big clocks. He didn't have a little chain like this. In he wore super big clocks on his neck. Why? Because that's just Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav knew his own flavor. I think Flavor Flav is one of the only guys that really knew what it means to taste like a steak. <laughs> because a steak has a lot of flavor on it, you know. And uh, you, you know it's even better when you put that A1 sauce on there. So it's like, you know, Favor Flav had his own style, you know, his own charismatic force. He, he felt himself. He had his own vibe. He was in tune with who he was as a person. Um, so was Muhammad Ali. Uh, Muhammad Ali was a person who had great confidence, um, great philosophical beliefs about who he was before um he got into the whole boxing arena. I actually did a report on Muhammad Ali, um, him being Cassius Clay and whatnot, and you know the civil rights movement and all that. This guy would say stuff like, "I'm the greatest. I'm this. I'm that. I'm that." He had a strong belief about who he was and his flavor before he even knocked somebody out. He'll tell them what round they're gonna knock him in and knock him out uh, in that same round. You know what I'm saying? Like so, Muhammad Ali is definitely somebody that had a lot of flavor other than flavor flavor. Um, and you, you have a lot of flavor too, but you have to really stick to that essence. You know, you have to. Hold on to it is to who it is that you are as a person, and stop looking so much at other people. Like that's one of the that's one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people make. Like we tend to look at other people and become insecure about ourselves. That's not who we were created to be. You know, we were not made to look at somebody else's uh, attributes, potentials, and judge ourselves. When you do things like that, you're instantly doubting yourself. And doubt is not good. Fear is not good. Worry is not good. Anxiety is not good. Stress, none of that stuff is not good. And so when you do stuff like that, doubting, and you put that insecure back within yourself because you look at somebody else's flavor and you're like, I'm not like them. You're never going to be like anybody else in this whole wide world. Um, that's the beauty of life. If you can recognize that you are unique, you're a unique individual in this present moment right right now while we're talking about it, um, you will be much better off. You will think more clearly even right now in this very moment because you'll realize this is stuff that you're attracted to. You're attracted to cultivate yourself, making yourself better, other people's lives better, the world a better place. Um, so we rolling, guys. This is what it's all about, man. This is what it's all about. And I feel so good right now. I feel motivated. I feel uplifted. I feel pumped up. I feel like I got a little bit of flavor. I'm not flavor flavor. I would never put a clock on my neck, but that's not me. I wouldn't do what he does. I like it. I love clocks. Actually, I um my grandma used to have a big uh grandmother clock in her in our um, living room and I actually drew it out when I was a young boy on a piece of paper. I liked it so much because it would ding and I had this vision in my head when I was a young boy that mouses live inside of grandmother grandmother clock. Are they called grandmother clocks or grandfather clocks? I don't know, but the tall clocks that look antique, you know, with the chimes in them. Yeah, I love those clocks, man. And um, yeah, so I love clocks, but I'm not flavor flavor though. You understand what I'm saying? I have my own flavor. You have your own flavor. We all have our own flavor, and that's what it's all about. Stick to your own essence, guys. It's within you. It's who you are. Let who you are explode. But I can tell you this: you're not a negative person. Um, you're not a person of doubt. You're not a person of fear. You're not a person of worry. You're not a person of hate. You're not a person of ill intention. Every every part of you that tastes like something will always be something positive. Okay, speaking of. 
in a speaking in a food tense, okay, to real Scott. <laughs> Boy went grocery shopping today and bought up the whole grocery store because he's going to make some great videos tonight on the Living Room Network. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm Trent Sanders and this is the infamous, the infamous Living Room Network. I'll see y'all next time. Until then, we're still on the one month, 10 minute meditation challenge. Make sure you're meditating. Take 10 minutes out your day every day. Peace, y'all.